Home sweet home. What? Who made a mess around here? Why is there a bag of chips on the floor? Huh? Huh? Is that a green blob? No, 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 no! Yuck. He slimed me. Uh, let me go clean up this mess and, and do the review. Hello everyone, this is Edwin Ghostbusters and Lego Movie Fan 2003. And today I'm going to review on Ghostbusters 4 Frozen Empire. Came out the year 2024. Let's get into the plot. So base what the plot is. Before I get into the plot, this video will have spoilers. If you haven't seen this movie, please go pause this video and go watch this movie in theaters or online, and then you can come back to this video. So anyway, it takes place after Ghostbusters Afterlife left off. The Spengler family moved to New York City and busted some ghosts. Podcast works with Ray Stans at the bookshop, and Lucky works with Winston Zedmore at the Ghostbusters Academy place. Then they meet the guy who has the orb thing. He give the orb to Ray Stans. Ray tests with his PKE meter, the orb unleashes a psychic charge that damages the wall around the firehouse's containment unit, which is dangerously close to capacity. At the Ghostbusters Academy place, Lucky and Winston shows the Spengler family their new technology, new ghosts and new gadgets and stuff. Then later Phoebe, podcast and Ray Stans goes to the New York library and finding out the ice monster backstory. Later that night, Phoebe meets the ghost girl I forgot what her name is. They sneak into the Ghostbusters Academy place, Phoebe uses the lab's extraction machine to separate her spirit from her body becoming a ghost for two minutes so that she and Ghost Girl can physically interact. But the Ghost Girl reveals that she made a deal to free the ice monster from captivity in exchange for passage to the afterlife. Then the ice monster is free and taking over New York City. So it's up to Phoebe, Trevor, Podcast, Lucky and the rest of the Ghostbusters team to stop the evil ice monster and save New York City. And that's basically what the plot is. What did I think about this movie? This movie is great and underrated. But it's not as good as the first Ghostbusters movie and Afterlife. But I still enjoy it. Let's talk about the story and the characters. The story is great. Phoebe in this film, he is a good protagonist. Trevor, he is really great in this film. Lucky and Podcast, they're really good in this film. Ray Stans, he is fantastic in this film. Winston Zedmore, he's fantastic as well. Peter Venkman, he's great. But he only appeared in two scenes at the middle of the film and at the end of the film. Janine, she is great in this film. Phoebe and Trevor's mother, she is great as well. Mr. Gruberson played by Paul Rudd, he is awesome in this film. The guy who had the orb played by Kumail Ali Nanjiani. I forgot what his character name. He is a funny character. The guy with the glasses who works with Lucky and Winston, I forgot what his name is. He's alright. Slimmer and the mini stay puffed, they're really great in this film. And the ice monster, he is a creepy villain. Let's talk about my favorite part. My first favorite part is the Ecto-1 car chase scene at the beginning of the film. That scene is really awesome. My second favorite part is where Trevor got slimed by Slimmer. That scene is so funny. My third favorite part is the final battle scene. That is so cool. Overall Ghostbusters Frozen Empire was a great movie but it's not as good as the first Ghostbusters movie. But it's a fun film. But anyway guys I give this underrated movie of 2024A, 9 tenths. It's a great film. And that's my review on Ghostbusters 4 Frozen Empire. 